lab tech innovations students we are doing chapter called probability and we have started doing theorems in probability right we are already covered in the last lecture of mine we already covered uh, addition theorem of probability and now in this lecture i am going to talk about multiplication theorem but before we start with multiplication theorem certain definitions are to be introduced so that you will understand the meaning of those definitions and based on those definition we will prove another theorem called multiplication theorem so come on let us see now there is a concept called independent event independent event events right independent event means what two events will be called independent as the word independent indicates that these two events do not depend on each other now it means whether suppose there are two events a and b a occurs or does not occur has no effect on a b occurring or not occurring right so for example two students are appearing for an examination whether the a passes or fails does not affect b passes or fails provided the exam is fair right so in the fair examination so study of one student does not affect the study of another student therefore his chances of passing or failing is not going to affect the chances of passing and failing of the other students so from the common sense itself we know whether the two events are dependent or independent right so two events are set but let us have a formal definition of independent event a and b a and b will be called will be called independent events independent events if occurrence occurrence or non occurrence of a has no effect no effect on on occurrence and non occurrence of b so if the two students are studying for a, appearing for an examination then whether a passes or fails has no effect on b passes or fails therefore these two events will be called independent event but sometimes it does not happen like that if assuming that a and b are copying in that case if a passes or fails that will affect b passes or fails right so they are called dependent events so dependent events now dependent event means what a and b will be dependent so uh, occurrence of a of a affects b and vice versa and vice versa imagine that uh, there are two machines you know one machine produces 10% defective bulbs another machine produces only 5% defective bulbs what is the chance that the bulb which has come from one particular machine will be defective it depends on from which machine it has come right if it comes from the machine a then it the chances are 5% if the, it comes from chance uh, machine b then the chances are 10% so these are dependent events right so uh, and most of the times our common sense tells us whether the events are dependent or independent i'll give another example suppose i take a pick a pack of cards okay i take a pack of 52 cards i take one card i look at it and i again replace that card in the pack again and again i reshuffle the card and then i take out the second card now whether the first card is spared or not does it depend upon the second card absolutely not why because that card was again returned to the pack and from another card was chosen so another card ka spade hona ya na hona pehle ke upar nirbhar nahi hai right so but suppose i take one card from the pack of card and throw it away and then i shuffle and then i take the another card then the card is a spade or not depends upon whether the first card was spared or not because if the first card is spared then there are only 12 spades left and if the first card is not spared then there are 13 cards left that means the second event will depend on the first event right so these are the correct examples of independent and dependent uh, uh, events okay 
and this uh, this uh, this second law that is multiplication theorem is about these con this is called conditional probability conditional probability okay so let us remove all this and go over to the next and now students conditional probability you know there is a notation involved here so i will i'll write a provided b right now what is a by b right so probability of a by b means what right probability of a by b means what probability of a of a provided it is given provided b has already already happened remember one thing when i say b has already ha happened means it has already occurred that means i am 100% sure about the occurrence of b that means i am giving the position of sample space to b now original was Ground, uh, original diagram was this much. This was a sample space. This was A, and this was B. Suppose this is A and this is B, right? But when I say I am hundred percent sure that B has occurred, what does that mean? That means you are shrinking the sample space to the size of B only, because B is the hundred percent event which has already occurred. That means now the sample space has been reduced to what? Only the size of only the size of b so b is the sample space now so this diagram is gone and here is b and this part is left which is a intersection b right and this whole event is called b because this is a now sample space what is the probability of a happening them because only the elements which are common to a and b will indicate the occurrence of a right so this indicates that this probability can be defined as number of elements in a intersection b divided by number of elements in b as i said b has taken this place of sample space now and in b which elements are there in a that is the only occurrence of a right so now if i divide this n a intersection b you know divided by original number of elements in sample space divided by number of elements in b divided by number of elements in s correct now this is a definition of what this is a definition of probability of a intersection b so this will be probability of a intersection b and denominator is probability of b correct so probability of a by b is equal to probability of a intersection b upon probability of b that means in short if i want to write this statement i'll write it like this probability of a by b is equal to probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b now same statement can be written like this probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of b multiplied by probability of a by b correct now this statement is called multiplication theorem this statement is called multiplication theorem so this is our multiplication theorem multiplication theorem right now always remember i can also write like this if it is i if i invert this that means probability of b by a probability of b by a is equal to uh, probability of a intersection b multiplied by probability of a correct so probability of uh, sorry uh, divided by uh, divided uh, intersection b divided by probability of a correct now the same statement can be written like this so probability of a intersection b can be written as can be written as probability of a 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए इंटर सॉरी ए बी बाय ए प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाय प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बी बाय ए करेक्ट सो दिस स्टेटमेंट कैन बी रिटर्न इन टू वेज राइट यू कैन राइट दिस एज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए बट देन हियर देन यू विल टू राइट बी बाय ए करेक्ट एंड अदरवाइज यू कैन राइट सो द मल्टीप्लीकेशन स्टेटमेंट कैन बी मेड इन बोथ वेज राइट सो दिस इज द मल्टीप्लीकेशन थियर ऑफ नो इफ द इवेंट्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट देन वॉट हैपन्स इफ इवेंट्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट इफ इवेंट्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट इफ इवेंट्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट देन वॉट then probability of a by b is meaningless because when whether a occurs or not it has no effect on b a, a at all that means probability of a by b is nothing but probability of a so in case of a by b it becomes a and probability of b by a will also become probability of b correct but this happens only when the events are independent so for independent event i can rewrite this product theorem like this so if the events are independent if a and b are independent events events then then probability of a intersection b is very simple pa multiplied by pb correct so this becomes a very simple statement if the events are independent if the events are dependent then you will have to use this particular statement combinedly these statements are called uh, the multiplication theorems okay so these are the multiplication theorems so that completes one section